When we use WPS Office to print documents, we often encounter a variety of printing glitches. So in this video, we're going to briefly explain the effects of each small function in the print panel. Let's take this thesis as an example. First, we need to make sure that the hardware device of the printer is normal and on state. Meanwhile, we also need to determine whether the computer used can find your printing device in LAN. Click Menu and Print. The print dialog box also can be popped up with its shortcut key, Control P. After setting the connected printer, print mode, content range, the number of copies, and other related information, then we can start printing by clicking the OK button. We're also going to introduce you to the content of the print interface. The print interface consists of five components, printer, page range, copies, order, and zoom. The first part is about the printer. We can choose the name of the printer to which the computer is connected. We can view the printer's status, type, where, etc. at the status bar below. On the right side, there are properties, print method, and page source. Here we can check inverse output, print to file, and duplex print. Inverse output is a unique printout method provided by WPS Office. It is only applicable to the printing of Word docs and displays the documents as mirror image, which can meet the requirements of special typesetting and printing. Inverse output is usually used in the printing industry. For example, schools print test papers on wax paper through inverse output and then print multiple copies of the paper by mimeographing. Print to file is mainly used for documents that do not require paper copies and such documents are saved in the form of computer files with anti-tampering effects. Duplex print allows documents to be printed on double-sided, saving resources and reducing consumption. Paper sources are available for using printer settings, automatic and multifunction trays, and cartons. Generally, the printer will be used to automatically allocate the carton. This can also be customized in settings. The second part is page range, and you can check the box of all, current page, and page range. Check all to print all the documents, or check the current page to print the current page of the document. To specify a certain number of pages to print, we can check the page number range and input the page number range. For example, enter 1 through 5 or 1 through 5, so you can print across pages. You can select odd-numbered pages or even-numbered pages in print range below. Non-automatic double-sided printing and printing of odd or even pages can be achieved here. The third part is copies, in which we can select the number of copies and collate copies. Adjust the number of copies. Multiple copies can be printed here. If we need to print the documents by copies, we can check Check Print by Copies to ensure the continuity of document output. The fourth part combines order and zoom. The default number of layouts per page is 1. Here you can change the number according to individual needs. For example, selecting four layouts means that each page displays the content of four pages. The order can be adjusted on the left side. The effect of paper scaling is that you can select files on other paper types and print these files on the specified paper type. Select the paper type you want to zoom and there you have it. To learn more about printing skills, you're welcome to search for the keyword print and watch more awesome videos in our WPS Academy.